Today, I'm going to be writing this bus that has a restaurant inside. We are going to have some traditional Japanese foods, drinks, and enjoy a tour of the city. But the biggest question is, will it actually be any good? The bus was decorated with this beautiful eye-catching design. Instead of regular seats, you have to sit at the table like at the restaurant. The top has this unique design to hold your drinks and keep them from falling down. And it actually works pretty well because some of these rows were super bumpy. It can even hold a wine glass. I feel like a sophisticated adult. My taste bud is child. Okay, maybe I'm not a huge fan of wine. But I'm loving this bus so far. I'm also loving the beautiful interior. The giant sunroof makes the whole bus feel really open. But you can see the nice sky and then I, I almost feel like I'm not on the bus. I'm not walking, but at the same time, I can enjoy a lot of beautiful historic sites. It's nice. And the beautiful wood trim and the decoration on the side give it that traditional Japan feel. So this bus is taking us to Kiyomizudera Temple, one of the most popular temples in Kyoto. But on the way there, we are passing by Higashi Honganji Temple and the Kamo River. But now, our meal is here! We started off with some seasonal vegetable appetizer, but the second course really wowed me. Grilled fish. This interesting pink looking one is a Japanese pickled ginger. Oh, good for karsik. And this one is very beautiful, tiny, cute stuff. Deep fried wheat gluten. The brown sauce is not chocolate. This is miso, red miso paste sauce. It's pretty good. Very standard fish stock fried egg. I like it. Nice and, and savory. It's not sweet. I like it. One thing I really liked about this experience was being able to see and learn so much about Kyoto while enjoying delicious food. It's the kind of experience that you can't get anywhere else. Also, the skilled bus driver is really good too. This is super narrow street. She said this street sometimes two big sightseeing bus pass each other. So the drivers in Kyoto has to be really good. Like 30 centimeter between the cars. I don't think I can drive in Kyoto. <laughs> Finally, we've made it to Kiyomizdera Temple, but we only have 40 minutes. It's not enough time to see the temple, so we're gonna see if we can eat 4,000 yen worth of street food and see how it compares to the food on the bus. So good! Thank you. Thank you. So this is a spicy chili pork bun. Yeah, I, I never seen this before. It must be new. Thank you. <laughs> Guys, it's crazy good. <laughs> it's really spicy. They put a generous amount of pork. Hey, look on the left over here. Fruit soda. Mmm. Yeah. I'm picky. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? Hi, ano C no yuba hitotsu kudasai. Hi, arigatou gozaimasu. Mm. The flavor is not so strong, but they put a little bit of seasoning too. I like the spicy one. Tako sen hitotsu kudasai. Arigatou gozaimasu. This is not takoyaki. It's actually a fish paste. A lot of cabbage, also octopus, and some green onion. Mm. <laughs> Together, really good. Very, very nice and crunchy. Savory, shrimp cracker. Takoyaki sauce is pretty sweet compared to the regular one, but it's, it's really good. Let's go. Wow. Is there sumi in this? <laughs> chestnut ice cream. Oh, there's a chestnut inside. Wow. This is a chestnut rice cake. Oh, mm. the chestnut is really, really creamy. Try Mr. Eats. Yeah, there's cream inside there. Mm. Mm. Wow, I don't think the little kids can eat it because mm. of the alcohol smell. Let's go. But just when we thought we were on a roll, we realized that we were in trouble. We're almost at the top. Oh no! We're running out of street food. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's it. Follow me, like follow that. me, follow me. More steam buns. It's all steam buns and ice cream. Yeah. We've had too many steam buns. Yeah, ice cream. This is not good. We only got 13 minutes left and we still haven't finished spending our full thousand yen. I really didn't think there was anything else we could eat, but we found something. Look, bomb kuhen on a stick. Ah, wait, wait, wait. Whoa. Ah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody's taking a picture like this. <laughs> we don't have time to take a picture like this, so. It's a little dry. 
We've only got five minutes to get back on to the bus. Unfortunately, we don't have much time and I think we should probably stop here. But wait, I just remembered there is another place. This is my favorite place in Kyoto. Confectionery is really, really good quality. And the package is so cute. We're going to try sweet skewer. I'm full. Me too. Castilla, <laughs> mm. <laughs> cream soy. Thank you. Wow. Wow. Japanese style pastel cake. Yeah. It's not soft. It's like a kind of firm. Cream is not sweet. So this is the last one, but we have to keep it. I don't think we can finish out no. here. Okay. I'm so full. We only have two minutes left, but we still have some coins in our pocket. I don't think we're gonna make it. Wait, look at that! Vending machines! <laughs> I, that's it. We have to get back on the bus. Okay. <laughs> we didn't miss the bus. <laughs> we made it just in time. Wow, that was a close one. <sighs> we had 40 minutes. Our goal was to spend 4,000 yen on street food. We spent 3,950 yen. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed! If we bought Coke. 180 yen. Mm, 180 Coke? <laughs> what I want. My ego came out because I don't drink Coke, so I bought water. But if I bought Coke... I mean, that was actually really hard to eat 4,000 yen in 40 minutes. I thought there would be a lot more variety, but it was just steamed buns and ice cream. I'm so full. I'm so full. <laughs> but I still gotta try the rest of the food to let you know if it was actually better than the street food. We were served some seasonal vegetables, which was very subtle in flavor. A dish of fried sesame tofu that I really didn't think that's really good. And some rice and miso soup. But then, something really cool happened! Cold. <laughs> Even though it was the middle of winter, it was so nice feeling the fresh cold air. Not only that, but we got to enjoy passing right underneath the giant Tori gate of Heianjingu Shrine. Beautiful! Wow, I've been to Kyoto many times, but I've never had this experience before. <laughs> I feel like I'm a tourist. <laughs> I am. <laughs> Next, we went under the temple gate of Chiong in Temple, and this was really cool. Look at how close we were to the bottom of the gate. Then we passed by one of the most interesting shrines. This is a breaking up shrine. If you want to break up with your girl boyfriend, girlfriend, or if you want to quit your job, go there and pray. <laughs> it's true, it's true. <laughs> we were served our final course, a traditional Japanese sweet. As we finished up our meal, I had to wonder, was the Kyoto restaurant bus actually worth it? What I really liked about this bus is you can go a lot of, a lot of very, very famous sightseeing spots in almost two hours. The explanation from the guide was very, very nice and very, very interesting and a lot of like a trivia and stuff. I actually took memos. Okay, I want to visit this this place next time. Some places in Kyoto, roads are really bumpy. So if you get car sick easily, mm, maybe not a good idea. And the final question, what's a street food better than the restaurant bus food? No way. Even though I liked the street food, there was something special about enjoying local Kyoto cuisine as we toured the city. I loved this experience and I think you would too. You should also experience some of these amazing Japanese packaging that I talked about in this video. Thanks for watching. Okini!